In this video, I want to show you how to use the time sale option within the JVZoo platform. Now, if you're wondering how to get here, you only need to do the same thing as you would when you're setting up a new product by going over to the Sellers tab, then going to Sellers dashboard, and then once you're there, go ahead and click on Add a Product. Okay, and then you'll need to scroll down to this option here where it says Make a Time Sell. So I'm going to go ahead and close these out and then open this one up. Now, you may be wondering, what is this for? This allows you to override the price of your current product at any given time or date that you specify in the future. So over here on this side, you would set up your product as you normally would, which we show you how to do in another video. But if you wanted that price to change later on, you need to come over here, click in that area, and then select the year, the month, and the date as well as the time that you want it to change. So let's say if I wanted it to change on June 24th, 2017, and I wanted it to change at 6.30. All I need to do is click those options, okay? And then I need to change it to the price I want. Now, if I had this product set up, and let's say if the price was $37, and I want it to change to $67, I need to put that in this area over here and then go ahead and click on add. Okay, and now we have it where it'll change to $67 on this date. But if we wanted to change it to $97 later, we could do that as well. So we just click in there and say if we want it to change it on the 30th at 6.30, just like that, and then put in 97, and then click on add. Okay, and now we're good to go. This is great if you wanna add more scarcity to your launches or your products, and this allows you not to have to go back and continuously change things within the product platform on JVZoo. All you have to do now is just set your prices, set the date you want it to change, and you're good to go. And everything else will update as well, right down to the affiliate commissions. Once you're done, make sure you scroll down to the bottom and then click on Save Product and you're good to go. Okay, well that's it for this video. Take care.